Hello there. I had a bit more to share, but it was content that I wasn't really sure how to show in the first episode. While I'm still far from knowing a bunch about Unicode, there were some things I found out while making this episode that I found really interesting. Character length. Strings in most languages are a lot more complex than language will make you think. Languages like Rust try to expose a lot of that complexity, but JavaScript hides it. We briefly talked about diacritics in the episode. Diacritics will actually contribute to the length of a string. Can they really be considered another character, though? If one were writing it down, we certainly wouldn't. Some might say this length is a positive feature, since it accurately reflects the number of symbols in a string. However, this is not the case. This emoji here has a length of 2, despite only being one symbol. This is because it falls outside what's called the BMP, or Basic Multilingual Plan. Why is this important? For optimization reasons, JavaScript and other languages use UTF-16 for text encoding. That means it can represent symbols that require 16 bits for their code point. Any code point in the BMP can be represented with 16 bits, but none in the astral plane can. They would need up to 21 bits. Unicode is split up into 16 planes, or sets of FFFF, 65,535 characters. That emoji falls into the end of the second plane with a code point of 1F600, or 128,512. Any plane after the first one is considered the astral plane. So how do we represent that emoji at all? We use what's called surrogate pairs. We connect two code points together and use that to calculate the code point. Together, these surrogate pairs can point to over 1 million possible code points, giving us exactly enough room to reference any code point possible in the astral plane. These surrogate pairs are counted as separate symbols, which is why we're getting a length of 2 instead of 1. There are situations where this actually contributes to a problem. When researching for this video, I found that Discord had a bug related to this exact language behavior. I was fooling around with our invisible characters and decided to cram them into a Discord message. Discord doesn't remove them, so we're able to send messages with 2,000 characters that only appear to have a few of them. I say 2,000 specifically because that's Discord's message limit. Pass that and it uploads a file. But it's not really 2,000 characters, is it? Discord uses dot .length to find the message length, and so our invisible characters falling into the astral plane count for twice as many. I wrote some code to inject these characters into some text, and I was able to create an unquotable message. Since it was already at the character limit, adding that quote bar to the left was one too many. Truly unquotable. Right? It turns out that people were still able to quote it, despite me being unable. I later found out that Discord's Android app calculated the string length through a different method. It didn't count astral plane characters as two symbols. This means Android phones could quote things that others couldn't. After I reported this over Twitter, possibly coincidentally, Discord's Android app has been updated to now reflect the desktop experience. It is important to note, however, that this is a purely client limitation. This means that clients like Better Discord or the Discord API itself can work around this. Discord bots can post 2,000 symbols. Text sanitization. Sanitizing user inputs is always a fun and painful task. If we're making user account systems in our website, forget the password, but what kind of usernames do we allow? A safe bet might be just to limit it to English characters, but do we really alienate every non-English speaking user? What about English speaking users whose real legal name contains some diacritics or non-English characters? Fine then. Some non-English characters live outside the BMP, so we can't limit it there. Let's do a regex check to match any language or diacritic characters, but nothing else. We're now still allowing Hangul filler characters, though. They look like white space, but they qualify as a language character. This whole mess is really difficult to sanitize. That's why you can go on platforms like the online game Crunker with a blank name. It won't accept white space, but it does accept Hangul filler characters. Conclusion. I'm going to leave some more links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive as much as I did. Cheers.